The dog and I decided to just quick pack up a radio, come out with a ham stick on the gator, and uh, see what we got. Well, of course, you know, looking at the SWR on the Rig Expert, it sucks. It's uh, for 20 meters, is way out of whack. And I'm running the FX4CR today, and that is not gonna handle it. So, it's, uh, we gotta get that down and over. So, uh, let's see to get it down. So I need to hook up, I'm gonna try and hook up a, uh, uh, a counter radio off of that with some wire I got here. I got some clamps I found. So I think I can just kind of piece some these short pieces together and see if we can do something with that. So let's try and MacGyver this thing together and get on the air. Okay, so I got this short piece here. I use these pieces for other videos and stuff. So I clamped it right there to the uh, coax and I got this just, I don't know how long this is, but I'm just gonna lay it out here, see if that makes a difference on our SWR here. So I'm gonna give it a, give it a go here. Hit the button. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that uh, brought the dip closer and down. Okay, cool. Uh, I should say that uh, I checked on the stinger. I can't extend the stinger wire anymore. I've got it maxed out as far as I can go. So uh, that was not an option. I've got another piece or two of these. I'm going to clamp some of these on too. And I've also brought... Uh, I can elevate this radial too on a on one of these uh, sticks, one of them uh, electric fence posts. So I'm gonna do that too and see what we can do. All right, we hodgepodged it together. I got it elevated radial, kind of just, uh, it's just a bare wire clamped on there. Just odds and ends of pieces here on the ham stick 20 meters. Let's see if that makes a difference on our SWR. Let's watch them hit the scan. Okay, I brought now. All right, that's getting down there on the dip. So I think the radio definitely made a big difference. So we need to get that dip closer to the 20 meters. So, and I can't extend that whip anymore. More wire here that I could, uh, I'm just gonna tape some of this wire to the end of that stinger up there. Uh, see if we can extend that a little bit further. All right, be right back. So I got this little chunk of wire here. I'm just gonna tape this uh, strand right to the uh, top of the stinger, or top of the antenna wire here. I don't know what they call that metal piece. I think it's called the stinger, but I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna tape that, and let's uh, we can trim that back. And uh, if it's too low, hopefully it'll be too low, and we can trim it. Okay. All right, so I just taped it, that bare wire, so it's making good contact with the antenna. And this is pretty long, it's kind of droopy. I really don't have anything to hold it up right, so I'm just gonna throw it up there and see what it does. So let's get it up and mounted back on the mirror mount here and see what the SWR looks like. All we're looking for is to get that dip a little closer to 20 meters, all right. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we got for SWR now. Oh, okay, way too long. Oh, that's perfect because we can trim that so it stands up a little s straighter. Okay, uh, let's trim it and uh, we'll be back and look at it again. So I trimmed about half of it off. I don't want to go too far and have it be too short because um, I want to be able to trim a little more off if I have to. So let's go put it back up and look at the SWR here. All right, let's see here. All right, let's look at it here. Hopefully we're close. Oh, bam. Okay, so it's still just a little long. I can trim off a little bit more because I want it real close for that FX4CR because I don't have a tuner. I need it pretty close here, so. Let's look at it again, just make sure it wasn't. Okay, I'm gonna trim off just a little more. I should note, I do have a tuner. I just don't have the short piece of coax BNC connector that goes over and connects to the tuner. I forgot that at home too. I didn't bring that along, so I'm screwed. 
Uh, so all I have is my long coax that goes to the antenna is all I got with me. Okay, the decision. How much to trim? I hate this part. Um, okay, so here. No, I think that's gonna be too much. I don't need to go much. I'm gonna trim off about that much. All right, and let's see what difference it makes. Okay, here's the, let's see if we trimmed off too much or not. Let's do a sweep. Oh, maybe not enough, okay. Maybe a little, oh yeah, you know what? It got a little closer to the top side of 20 meters, which is where I need it. I could probably run with that, but you know, I kind of want it just a little closer. So I'm gonna trim off just a little bit more again. Okay, we're back. I trimmed off just a little bit more. Maybe not quite, about, about what I trimmed off last time. All right, let's hit the button. Boom, that's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see, where is the low? Uh, it is at, uh, Frequency 14.210 is the bottom and it's a 1.45. So I don't know if extending the radio a little longer. You know, I might just, I still have, what do I have back here? I have this short piece of clamp. Let's put this on and see if extending that makes any difference. I'm gonna put this little, little piece on and see if, extend the radio and see if that helps. Be right back. All right, as I added that little extra, that's probably about two feet to the radio. Let's see if that makes any difference in this. It'll probably screw it all up. All right, we're watching. Ready, let's hit the button. Oh, whoa, okay. So extending the radio, holy smokes, and we're a little long. So now I can shorten it up. And uh, whoa, get that dip. Okay, let's be careful, because we don't want to shorten it too much. All right, whoa, this is exciting. We're extending that radio, dropped my dip. Okay, all right, so I cut a little more off that wire at the tip. Notice how narrow it got too. I think it narrowed up quite a bit. All right, let's see if I cut too much off. I'm gonna hit the button, are you watching? Let's see what happens here. Oh man, just a little more. I'm gonna cut a little more off the top get that dip more towards the sideband side of the band. Okay, be right back. One last try. I trimmed off about an inch, maybe. Hopefully it's not too much. Let's look at it. Here we go. Oh man, I'm gonna call that good enough. The top side of that is, uh, I'm gonna zoom in here. How do I zoom in? Let's actually do, let's zoom in on this. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. 1.01. Holy smokes, that is just truly amazing. And a 1.5 on the top side. So, uh, on four, what's the frequency, 210? Oh, we can make that better. I'm gonna take a little more off the tip, off that wire. Let's do it, come on. So here's what we ended up with. That short a piece, so let's check it out. I cut off about an inch on that last cut. All right, let's see what it did. Okay, there's where we're starting at, right there. Boom. Oh my gosh. We did it, guys. We did it. All right. So it's a 1.0. Well, no, hang on. So I gotta get over here. Okay. It is a uh, 1.05 uh, up here on 14.280. I'm going to call that good enough. I think the FX4CR will enjoy that. And so what we ended up doing was we hodgepodged some radio because. I didn't bring any radio wire with me. I forgot it up at the house and I wasn't gonna run up, but I had all these pieces that I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna hodgepodge it together. So we've got it elevated out here and I couldn't tell you how long this is. It's probably 16 feet, I'm guessing. We got a ham stick dipe, or ham stick, which we had to extend with some wire, taping some wire to the tip. And I'm saying we extended it about uh, three inches up there. And our SWR is smoking. Look at that right there. And we're gonna get on the air. Let's make a call. Oh man, I love this. That is, that is, I can't believe I was able to hodgepodge together like that. Oh, and here's what we got going on out here. See? Guys are flying by spraying. 
That'll be the next thing. He'll be spraying right over our head. All right. We got the coax hooked up. I have not used the FX4CR in a while. How do I turn it on? I forget. Is that it? No? Is that, it must be it. I gotta turn it on. Oh! <laughs> Helps if I plug in the power. All right, hang on a second. Man, what a rookie. Okay, now I think I hit the power button. There we go. All right, let's see if we can uh, hear anybody. Oh, okay. All right, let's, uh, I'm hearing some stations. Out. So let's find a POTA station, see if we can work somebody. Be right back. Okay, here's a POTA, Delaware. Let's see CQ if we can get... POTA, CQ POTA, Kilo Charlie 3, Delta Sierra Oscar from CQ POTA, Delaware. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Uh, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, yeah. you're 57 Delaware. QSL, you're also 57 Iowa, over. Roger, thanks for Iowa, my friend. Thanks, Kevin, 73. 73, and thank you. Woohoo! Did you see that SWR? Uh, thank you, Poda. It thank was you, zero. There was no SWR on the meter. <laughs> Man, I can't uh, believe we got it to work. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. And by the way, we are five watts. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, got you, five five, fifty five into my park. QSL, you're five five Iowa, India Alpha, over. Kilo four, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, got you, uh, five. Five, 55 into my park, US 1632, over. Roger, roger, you're 5-5, 55 Iowa, India Alpha, over. Roger, roger, thank you very much for Iowa. Thank you very much for uh, for hunting me down. Thanks for helping me out, 73, and uh, good luck. QSL, 73, thank you. So there we are, five watts, FX4CR, the hodgepodge. Going QRT now, going QRT. Hodgepodged it together. So I guess what this shows is, have a bag of junk for those moments when you don't have a radio, you can piece one together. When you don't have a long enough ham stick, you can piece a wire and tape it to the end to extend it. Uh, it's got a raised aerial, so have one of these with you. And have the dog with you, of course. But uh, man, that was fun. I uh, When I saw that first dip on SWR so high, I'm like, maybe I better put a radio on it. And see what happens and it pulled out so uh, great and we made two contacts good contacts right really easy too great okay well this was exciting I had a lot of fun doing this and I uh, hope you weren't too bored you know, a lot of you guys probably already knew what to expect I don't experiment that much with this stuff so I didn't know um, but uh, I thought I'll give it a try and that's all you can do is give it a try and see what happens but uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the band somewhere. 7-3, everybody.